Hello, and welcome to LRR Headquarters. I'm your host, the God Emperor Burly Man. Today's top story. The Great Vortex in Ulfran has become unstable, due to Dark Elves destroying one of the neighbouring Waystones. But first, sports! I am joined today by the coaches of the Snow Dogs and Necro World, Snow Dog and Dr. Anima. Hello, welcome back. Hello! Hello! <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Sounds great. <laughs> Do you want the truthful or the happy answer? Uh, both. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm great. They're bad, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I'm looking forward to my match this week because I'm predict I'm going to win this yeah, week, th and I'm going to yeah. win two 0 And anybody wants to take their bet on, don't, don't, I'm willing to put any amount of money on. Don't, don't take his bet. He's with the bye weeks nights. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your bet that you will be yeah, two 0 <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, but who will be the winner of the match? So, now the week six. Different, oh, new to I. <laughs> the only one who can decide that. <laughs> I can I mean, decide can too. Actually, because he can make me lose, couldn't he? <laughs> Don't forget, I've had that power as well. No, no, no. Okay, oh, yeah. I, 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 I withdraw the bet. <laughs> especially if Burly Man bets. <laughs> yeah, especially if I'm thinking about a grand. What do you think, Anima? Do you think I should go higher? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Ten bets, grand. All bets are off. All yeah. bets are off. <laughs> so, yeah, week six has just ended. Um, yes, sir. A very bizarre, I mean, more bizarre than normal week. Um, one of uh, the lizards was killed. Yes, future handbags lost. Um, a Elmo. It wasn't. Yeah. No, he killed Elmo. Was Elmo? Yeah, Elmo. Bastard. He is now Elmo 2.0. <laughs> no, you can't kill Elmo. No, that's why he's 2.0. Yeah, I know, but he it's killed cool. Elmo! <laughs> oh, they to buy a new puppet! Oh no! I feel like we need to go straight to the team, because I want to have a look at this. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go to the team. Yeah, by, by the way, the romantic necros uh, beat the future handbags 2-0. Okay, which is surprising. it's not Tickle Me Elmo. It's not. T it's no. Oscar the Grouch that got killed. Oh, Oscar Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Oh, that's not quite as bad. Oh, oh I was scared there. I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> lost Elmo. Oh, dear. Yeah, uh, yeah their match um, was very, very interesting. Uh, lots of injuries on both sides. Lots of knockouts. Uh, but like I said, the one death. The Lizard had a death for once. Uh, how, did you, how do you guys feel about Week 6 since you guys actually played in it? And I didn't. Yeah, we played each other. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, the, the match with Al Plate and uh, Red Time was an uh, uh, exciting match. Mm. Uh, I personally was hoping uh, Red Time would win or at least draw, simply because if that had happened, yeah. I would have been two places higher than I am now because Al Plate would have dropped down to below DZ, mm -hmm. you see. Um, but. Because they'll play one, he went above us. So really good for him. Not so good for me because that puts me just above. <laughs> There's a round now. Yeah. Well, so could be worse. Yeah. Could be worse. It, it, it could be. It could be below you. Nah. nah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So as, as as what do I think of the week? Um, so necros, well done to you. And um, future handbags. <laughs> um, I see the Sherman Owls, the Burly Man team. Yes. They won two nil. Um, they trounced the bye week nights. <laughs> I know, I'm so happy. I've actually got. I'm above a thousand team value. Uh, yeah, it's the first time you've been more, worth more than the bye week I nights. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I have two rewells now. I have two rewells. I'm happy. <laughs> and then we had uh, uh, Overlord's Army, which is DZ against DJ's Volcanic Balls. The Bulls won 1 0, which put them above Necro World. I believe so, yeah. And there's a reason for that, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> Talk because... to us. What happens? I had a draw. Oh. You still haven't had a draw. No. Yeah, that is the one we think. Yeah, but I either win or lose. I said, but you had your second loss this week. Yeah, because I made some stupid errors. <laughs> yeah, you played me. <laughs> <laughs> no. That wasn't an error. I uh, know, that's true. That was a, that was a fix. Yeah. What errors do you believe you made? Yeah. Going for it. And ah. Rushing. Well, that's true. Yeah, that's true. You know what? Yeah, um, Overlord Desiron believes he did the same sort of errors in his match as well. Going for it and what have you. He felt that. That's it. Uh, yeah, because yeah, the, the, the one thing is in the first half, um, Dr. Anima had 
the majority of the possession. In fact, throughout <clears> the, <throat> she had far more possession than me. I think it was about 50% or something. It was really high. Yeah. And I had about 18% percent, percent uh, possession. Wow. He held wow. onto the ball well. And in the first half, he got right down to really close to my touch line. He fell short. Was it two squares short the first time? Wow. And the second wow. time, he fell, sh he fell over trying to actually on the square to get the touchdown. <laughs> and it's like, ah. Oh. And anyway, the first half ended nil-nil. Okay. Uh, but it was yeah. it was close. And he, oh, but I was losing guys left, right. Oh, were you? That's true. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but Necro, well, their guys are tough. They're a real punchy team. Oh, yes. Oh, like yes. Yumi is not so much so. And in the match, we had... I had one injury, didn't I? Yeah. You had four injuries, but one regenerated. Yeah. That never made it back onto the no, but then made it back onto the pitch. Mm. What did you die? Was there? No, no, no that's, good. Oh, that's, that's good. That's good. Then. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, for for a necromantic team to have that many people go down injured is really rare. It's a bit rare. Well, I mean, so, it's rare to have the big guys go down, but it, what is rare is the fact that Anima's uh, panda tactic didn't work. Yeah, that's it. Because uh, didn't I get down both of the golems, flesh golems? Really? I know there was a couple. Uh, of... I think you got. I know you got down one. Yeah, the other one must have regenerated then, because yeah. yeah, was it the werewolves I got as well? Because no, I know I still had a werewolf. You still had oh, a you still had one. Because I know I got some quite good players down. Yeah, which was really difficult. I mean, you wouldn't have minded if it's four zombies, <laughs> you know. But yeah, um, I actually find my zombies they actually work better on their own. Yeah, they're away from the rest of the team. Well, that's right. They just bundle up together. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're just there to get in the way more than anything, aren't they? Just shambling yeah. corpses. <laughs> That's it. They seem to have better luck than the rest of the yeah. team. That's it. I mean, I did do one risky move in it, really risky move. The ball came across and I could hand it to a player, so I gave it to Tiny the Ogre. Yeah. And he basically was running along, <laughs> trying to get to it. I think he got within about three squares of the end zone before he fell over and dropped the ball. He got about halfway across my line. Yeah, that's it. So he didn't quite make so it. So looking at your uh, team, eventually... you've actually got an injury as well. Uh, Zach Delaware. Yeah, yeah, but he'll be out just for for this week's game against the bye week Knights, and then he'll be back for the finals. This is true. That's uh, kind of handy. Though his uh, movement allowance has gone down, though. It has, yeah. He's mm. lost one point of movement allowance, and I didn't use the apothecary. I think they used it on somebody else, actually. Seems to ring you a bell. You did use it. Yeah, but it was for somebody else. Can't remember who. But I'm glad I used it on someone else because mm -hmm. he was the new guy. Um, well, because the other new guy the week before was Pablo Rossinanti. Ah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, because I've now got 13 players, which will be, all be in play. Uh, when we come back, I've got money in the bank because I'm waiting for the bye week nights to see how much money I gain from that to see what I'm going to do with the money. Uh, as far as um, I'm aware, um, as rules go, I think you get the biggest amount of cash possible. Okay, I so ended up getting what... about 10, uh, was it 100, 100k? Really? Uh, at least that's oh, my right, title yeah. anyway. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, I know it's sort of fairly high amount. Mm. And you'll get yeah. those two level ups as well, which is handy. Two level ups? Uh, yeah. Uh, it depends, because you'll get two five pointers and two three points. Oh, do you? Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's quite good, because I've got, if that's the case, um, five pointers would level up about, mm, about eight players. Mm -hmm. Three pointers. One, two, three, four, four players could level up on three points. Mm -hmm. So it's potentially possible that every player, could, uh, I could have four players level up. It's true. Potentially. Yeah. But it could also fall wrong and I could end up having nobody level up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But either way, that's good. So that that's my team. So let's go to the um, volcanic balls then, because we haven't actually had a look at them yet. Uh, well, shouldn't we have a look at... Um, uh, Dr. Animus. I've already looked at him. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were we having a big talk, talk about him, so I thought I'd look at him. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we go to the Volcanic Bulls, yes. who are playing Necro World, World this week. Yes, they are. It's going to be an yeah. interesting match because I want to see Chaos Dwarfs versus Necro Necromancy. <laughs> yeah, this, this will be interesting. Um, There's a lot of blockers now. Yeah, the main advantage uh, you have against him 
is your ghouls mm. because they can run fast yeah and that fast running is what you need to do because if you can get to a place where you can get a break and go for it because i mean that's how i scored in the match against you i had some tricky moon maneuvers to do and i went for it and got there um a bit like l plates match because he did one he had two 33 percent dodge movements and a 66 percent going for it and he scored on that mm -hmm. which is incredible i will say um, be, uh, be aware of burnt dam because he has a movement allowance of seven yeah, he's faster. Mm. Yeah, and I'm not worried. I'll get my wolves on him. Yeah, he, he yeah, is a bull centaur. He's a big bloke. So yeah, also bear in mind you can go for it for three squares as well. Oh, yeah, they can. Yeah. Yeah, because the bull centaurs get the extra one as standard. It's, it's um, the extra the... pair of legs. I think that makes a makes a bit of yeah. a difference. <laughs> yeah, it's good to sprint. And they've got short sure feet, which means they re-roll it if they fall over. Yeah. And with the extra movement, that means he can move 10 squares, which is basically half the pitch, I think. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, so you want to watch him because he can go half the pitch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We just have to see what nothing feeds. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. That's how it goes. <laughs> and they've got strength of four, so but you've got your golems of four. Yeah, the golems of yeah. four, yeah. So really, the golems want to look to take them down. Uh, the dwarf blockers, they're pretty... They're quite ca casual. Long. They're quite well defended, except for the one um, who's got the lower armor. But they're not very agile, and they they can't move very and far. And they're all level one. Let's not forget that. Yeah, well that helps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so basically, when you've got them there, they ain't going to move much. Nah. Ball centers nah. will do. Hobgoblins quite useful. Uh, the level three one, he's got uh, kick off return, so that's quite hmm. a useful one to have. Bear that in mind. Um, it's like all the whole goblins have block as well. He's only got two rerolls though, and only four cheerleaders. His rerolls right. actually cost a lot more than what I'm used to. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, what about, but you've got more coaching assistance than that, though, haven't you? Yeah, but I think my fan factor screws me over. Yeah, yeah, it's possible, so yeah. Mm. So even Wait, which got... is strange, being as you're right at the top of the board, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, I know. It's it's. Probably mm. where I played in mine or something, or it's my own stadium. They don't like me. Yeah, yeah. well, they don't in your stadium. They, Although, this time it was in my stadium and you lost in my stadium. Yeah, like I said, the only reason why I did is because I'd done some boxy moves, yeah. which I shouldn't. Well, yeah. yeah. There we go. So let's look at and Overlord's almost, army, then. Okay, yeah, almost all of them had block. Uh, the, the, the Overlord's teams. army. There's a space missing. Ooh. Yes, so he's down to 12 players. He's down to 12 but players, yeah. Have four Nurgle Warriors. Mm. It looks like one of that his means... testicles have uh, died. So uh, that's something at least. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, one thing with the Nurgle Warriors and the Beast of Nurgle, they make it very, very hard to do the passing game against them. Yeah. That's the problem I had with them. Yeah. I had to run round them rather than pass over them. Yeah, I know I know how that yeah. <laughs> I mean if I do play the passing game if I can, um then it was difficult. But I fortunately I can also play the running game. You can play any game that you wish. Well, that's uh Yeah. How did you find DZ when you played him? Um it was a good match when we played. Oh, yeah. I know I won two nil, I think. Mm -hmm. So that was only because he only had two Nurgle Warriors at the time. Oh, so I reckon yeah. it yeah. may have been a draw or it may be even been his win. Yeah. If he yeah. Didn't have to fall. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you had two nil. Yeah, I mean, and I, I, I had one one against him. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, really, he did tie me down really badly with the. Uh, Stopping my throwing game, so it made it a lot harder. And he's pretty punchy as well. Yeah, DZ likes um, punchy teams. He can't. He can't really handle the non-punchy teams. It's funny yeah, watching him. I mean, the Nova Warriors <laughs> will have a strength of four and armor value of nine. I mean, they're strong. And then you've got the big boy, the Beast of Nurgle. Mm. And he's a bugger because he's got the tentacles which stops you <clears> being able to run past him. Because, I mean, you can run away from a Minotaur and an Ogre, but you can't run away from a Beast of Nurgle. Unless you're an elf. <laughs> Unless you're an elf. <laughs> that makes you grand, that Beast of Nurgle. Yeah, because he's level three. He's level three, yeah. Now, yeah. yeah. Yeah, what's he got there? He's got Guard. Stand Firm. Stand Firm. Yeah, let's have a look at the other one. 
uh, tentacles is, is oh he's got a mutation of tentacles I thought that was standard yeah. on them it is, it is standard uh, yeah uh, okay so what's the mighty blow mighty blow yeah My Oh, right, did he add that? Yes. All yeah. oh, right, that isn't standard on one. No, no. Okay. Yeah, because it's standard on Noga. Nurgle's Rot. Oh. Yeah. He's just yeah, so he's a very tough, nasty little bugger. I didn't like him. He was hard to deal with. But I also have to admit that Desiree can play the Nurgles better than what I can. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Uh, he's a very good Nurgle player, which is why I got a draw out of him. I mean, uh, when it comes to any sort of Chaos team, I think DZ's got it. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he thinks chaos. Oh yeah, it'd be interesting to see if they bring out a Zench team, so they can get him to play a Zench team. I think it, that I, be. I think that would be his uh, cup of tea. I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he has got a lot of players which have been injured with negative uh, points. I mean, he's got two rotters with only a movement of four now. Yeah, one with, a, yeah, one was an armor value of seven. <laughs> they get, I mean, they take double injuries though, don't they? They do, yeah. I love it. Yeah, and he's a Nova warrior who's only got an armor value of eight instead of nine. I don't think that's No. So it makes a difference here because, uh, yeah, the two rotters, you, you, you beat the crap out of them, didn't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, he don't care for his rotters. He so. doesn't. He, he um, literally sends no, him in cannon uh, fodder style, doesn't he? <laughs> which makes it even crazier the fact that I took out so many of your guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really weird because I'm not a punchy team, but I'm not and not punchy team as well i'm yeah. i'm punchy against elves and skaven and the like but i'm kind of more elf like against the punchy teams all right let's have a look at the yeah, i can kind of mix it up a bit okay so the other necromancy uh, team yes the romantic necro um no losses to players um no injuries really? let's think about that romantic necros that has a very um what's that uh, my Chemical Romance. What's the emo or something? An emo band, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the Romantic Necros, they sound like if there was such a thing as an emo Blood Bowl team. They'd be these guys, yeah. That would be them. <laughs> but they would dress, their uniforms are red and not black, so that means they're not emo. And also, they don't have that hair which flips in front of the eyes that you have to flip away <laughs> to where you're going. Um, that, that. I don't have a problem with emos. I like you're them. Showing you're showing your age. Very sensitive people you're like I totally yeah. showing okay. your age right now, I'm just saying. <laughs> The hair, yeah. so it reveals both eyes, but it also covers it up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> I used to like that avatar, that uh, smiley on Skype, the one where it's got the emo flipping hair. <laughs> I love that one. Brilliant. Wow. Yeah, I think if I had hair and I was about 16, I might consider being an emo. Oh, dear. Yeah, or a goth. Talk about <laughs> going off subject, just a smidge. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if he a second He's only, got the He's only got the one goal, mainly because he didn't like them, and he only bought one just to, I don't know, see what they are, I suppose. Yeah, yeah but the goals are something you rely on, aren't they? Yeah. They're like yeah. your main go-to players to score. Yeah. yeah, because my wolves have had terrible luck. Mm -hmm. They have, they have, they really Even have. Even when I go in for a charge or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, actually, I do see an injury. I do see an injury, just one oh, yeah, injury. Yeah, yeah, house cranny. Mm. Uh, yeah, but it always survives. Yeah, niggling back. I, I think I had a pop at that one. Yeah. yeah, I think L players had a bit of uh, some very good luck. It seems because there's not that yeah. many injuries, not that many deaths, uh, and he has some <laughs> decent levels as well. Yeah, and he killed one of my players, which is why Snow Snowdog Snowdog sucks is one of the uh, <laughs> yeah. players on his team. <laughs> and as you can also see, he's got Oscar the Grouch. Oh, he does! Ooh, yeah, there he is. There's Oscar. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, I will say oh, one thing God. about uh, necromancy teams or undead teams is that they do offer career opportunities to those unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but the only trouble is, is that they can't be. They've got to be a strength of four That's or fine. below. But they only turn into zombies. Is that mm -hmm. Zombambo? Yeah, he does have a few weak points though in the backroom staff. He's got two rerolls, but in this thing, there's not many people who've got more than that, so that's not such a big problem. But he's got no cheerleaders and only one coaching assistant. Yeah. Which means he'll get a lot of um, lose a lot of the kickoff rolls. Mm, but his fan factor is five. Yeah, which means he'll win those ones is, he, on many of the occasions. He is a semi-popular team. Not yeah, a, which is good. Not as popular as the one yeah. that the Mavers say, but what can you do? <laughs>
Yeah, I've only got a fan factor of four. I think mine's three. Let's have a look. Uh, mine's four, check. yours three. is three. three. That's yeah. weird because you've done so well. Huh? Yeah. My, fa my fan factor is four. Yeah, it's better than mine. Yeah, it's crazy, everyone, isn't everyone it? likes the underdog. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, Maybe I should have like put some into fan factory with the stuff. Oh uh, yeah, probably well, actually. Yeah, we looked at the handbags, didn't we? Yeah, we so just at, leaves the out. We have, we've looked at all the teams. So no, yeah. we, did we look at the outs? Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay, so we're going to look at the scores of. Uh, oh, we... there's holes all over the place. We didn't look at your we team. Did? They're a mess. Oh, we did look at the team. <laughs> well, I didn't. No, you didn't, but we were. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. One, two, three injuries oh. permanently. I feel like two I need to go back to the issue with us. We're not going to look at the scores just yet. <laughs> okay. There we go. Yeah. The score, the owls are back up. Go on, then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've got two holes in it for a start. Yeah, one would be a war dancer, the other would be a lineman. A lineman, yes. Well, actually, I think it was my catcher, but. Oh, yeah. And it's two man is level two, which is awesome. That is, yes, I got, that uh, is actually very I've good. got loads of level that twos now, which is lovely. You have. Actually, that's really good because you were really you only had one when I was against mm -hmm. you. And I'm three of them have attribute increases. Yeah, I mean, you've got one which is sprint on alignment, gives him move of eight. That's good. Uh -huh. You've got two with agilities of five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that is massive. Mm -hmm. It really is massive. Oh yeah, um, no, they're doing they're doing a lot better than what they started out as. Oh yeah, because you had even more gaps. Didn't you have about five gaps at one time? Uh, no, I mean I've had about five deaths, and I've, I've yeah. brought back Kleinman just to fill up the spaces, and I could have bought a war dancer uh, thanks to my win at the bi week nights, but I decided no, no, I'm fine with getting the loan. It was it the uh, the wanderers. I'm just going to get a reroll. <laughs> Because <laughs> I need those re rolls, apparently. <laughs> uh, well, oh, actually, yeah, I need to look at that. Hang on. Uh, uh, the re rolls. Yeah, you got two re rolls because the one re roll was really bad. Yeah. I see that with the coaching assistance, you've gone for two of them to give you a chance of winning the extra roll. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you haven't bothered with cheerleaders. Because I haven't had enough money. I'll be buying linemen. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, but the thing is with the cheerleaders, I'm trying to remember what benefit it gives you a cheerleader. Uh, an extra re roll. Cheering fans. Um, oh, all right, okay. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, Pretty much, yeah. uh, cheering fans gives you an extra reroll on the kickoff as well, and same with the coaching assistance. If you win that, you also get a reroll. Mm, okay. Which is handy. And the fan <laughs> factor has one, but that you can't control. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So the schedule, the schedule for next week. Uh, this, we're going to look at the scores. What happened this week? Oh yeah, so, that'd be even better. Uh, Romantic Negro treat your handbags two 0 to the Romantics. Yeah. The Owls dominated the bye week nights 2-0. <laughs> <Quite allowed. laughs> uh, Desran uh, lost 1-0 uh, to Volcanic Bulls. That's it. And, and, and then I narrowly won against Necro World. You did. I think that's yeah. a... And I'd say it's narrowly because it was a lot closer than it looks on the scoreboard. Oh yes, definitely. In fact, can we actually yeah. look at the stats on that? We can. Look at that. So, oh, yeah, you, yeah, you had 10 armor breaks, Necro World only had 5. Yeah. yeah, Anima, you were having a bad time, weren't you? Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, oh, if you look in the statistics, this is what's interesting. I had 6% ball possession, <laughs> and none of it in my own half. Yet, Anima had 50% ball possession. Um, 50%, although 43% was in his own half. It shows how much he was holding back, you know. Uh, holding me back. Oh yeah, boring. Um, wow. He also got four kills running, which is not bad. But uh, yeah, this, yeah. Uh, it seems like you had a little bit of bad luck there, Anima. It really did. He, he did have a lot of bad luck, actually. Yeah, yeah. He had the one curse hit him. Uh, he also only had two players get points. Wow. So the uh... got a level up. You Maybe team got a level up. Right? That's right. That's true. We didn't. Right. So schedule yeah. for next week. Uh, me, Sherwood Owls versus Romantic Necros. Uh, that I think is going to be an interesting match. I would, if I was going to choose, mm. I would say the Necros were probably more likely to win. Mm. But that's only because of your poor start. And you, although your team is a lot stronger than it used to be, I think he's got the advantage there. Purely on the team value side of things. 
purely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could beat him. Um, it's a possibility. He's gonna have a ton of petty cash. Well, I do have the petty well, cash, though. and I do like my wizards. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying you can't win it or draw it. What I'm saying is I would tip him as the favourite. I believe so. I think that's a fair assessment. You will be, you will be the underdog, or in your case, the under elf. The under elf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I reckon that will be the most interesting match of the week. You do? Okay. Yeah, I think that will be interesting. Well, um, I don't know. We've got future handbags versus Overlord's army. That's a really hard one to call. Mm. Um, I think I would tip that to Red Tone and the Future Handbags. You think? Because, mm. yeah, even though their last two matches have not been so good for them, okay, they have actually been very, very good overhaul, all, and they have got a very strong team. Uh, DZ's Overlord's Army is good, but you look where they are on the leaderboard. Um, they're quite low down. Um, yeah. So yeah. it's like yeah. it's really hard to say, to be honest. Yeah. So I, I would tip the handbags as the slight favourites on that one. So the snow dogs uh, are going against the bi-week nights. Yeah, bi-week nights, and I would put the snow dogs as the big yeah, favourite. the least interesting. I know, right? Well, it'd be very interesting for me. Yeah, you got yeah, the, the, you got the week <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Actually, I miss playing. To be honest. Aww. I like being then we've got the what I would class the match of the week, the big match of the mm. week, which is the Volcanic Balls against Necro World. My money's on Necro World. No pressure. <laughs> I, I, My I, money's on balls. Oh. Yeah, I mean, personally, it's a close one to call. I would go slightly for the balls simply because DJ is so good at Blood Bowl. He's amazing. And his team is, he, he is, and he's, I mean... I don't think I've ever beaten him yet. I've drawn against him, I think, once. But usually I lose against him. And although I give him a hard time, um, it, he's, he's an incredibly hard player to play against. I, I do want to point out that by this time in the last tournament that we did, DJ's mm-hmm. team had a team value of 2,000. Yeah. He has, doesn't, he has not got that far. We've actually cut him down below, I suppose, about half of that. Uh, upgrading. Yeah. He's only at one. What was it? One four. Yeah, but we've got less matches this time because didn't we have nine matches last no, time? No, same amount of matches. Was it the same amount of matches? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's dropped out lots. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Um, so I would say the ball slightly, but I believe Doctor Anima and Necro World can get a win mm-hmm. or possibly a draw, but. I would like to see Necro World win because it's really the fight for the top of the table. Whoever wins it will be top of the That's table. That's true. Yeah, so it is a really big match. How do you feel about uh, this, Anima? How do you feel about this? Um, well, considering it would be the first time that we actually play together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling good about playing him. It's got to be good. But I, be still, good. I still reckon that he will possibly win. Okay. That's fair. He's a real nice gentleman to play. Oh, he is so. an absolute gentleman. Uh, I have to point out again, I'm not obligated by contract to say this, but I did get a pity touchdown. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, and and I'm obligated to say how good he is because he controls whether I win or lose. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's amazing. He's like the most amazing person <laughs> in the world. I may change my opinion after I've won the match. <laughs> Uh, in the meantime, I, would li- I would like some SPP. Uh... <laughs> now, oh, he's yes. just—he he's the most awesome person in the I world. Know, right? I mean, I'd rather just get rid of Scott and hey. bring hey. him in as my son. You know? But, oh, oh I am hurt. Don't forget, oh, I'm on the board case, as well. No, actually, I'm no, gonna, um, I'm gonna mark you down as a loss. <laughs> yeah, actually, in that case, revert what I said. Uh-huh, it's like, uh-huh. um, mm-hmm. um, um, mm-hmm. um, can I have a bigger shovel, please? Because I need to I've dig got a ball. I've got a dozer out. at the back if you want one of them. Yeah, I'm going. To, All right, let's have yeah. a look at the leaderboards. So, uh, volcanic balls are at number one at the just. moment. Just. Yeah, it could have all been so very, very different. If I hadn't beaten Anima, Mm -hmm. um, or rather if Anima had beaten me, because a draw would have still left him in second, but a win would have put him ahead of the Volcanic Bulls. Indeed. So I stopped him being top of the league. Volcanic Bulls have not lost. No. Not one match. Two draws, four wins, but no loss. Mm. Uh, Necro World at number two. Four wins, two losses. Yeah, four wins, two losses. Um... Done in very well because mm. I mean, your first four matches were wins, weren't they? 
uh, the first tournament. Well, three. Well, first one was by three, me. Yeah. Then I lost. Then I won. Then I lost. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you've done incredibly well, especially for your first season. Um, Speaking of someone that's doing remarkably well, Red Tone compared to his last uh, tournament. Well, yeah, lizard men are more his thing definitely, than dwarf. Definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, he's he's a very good player. Also, another gentleman. Yep. Um, he, he's. Uh, yeah, I mean. The thing I like about him is if he does something evil, we're not just in this game, but other games. So when he does something evil, he has the most evil giggle. He in the does. World. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you want to see him in um, Battlefront as Darth Vader. Oh, the Hunted by and Vader, yeah. Like, and he's Vader and he's coming after you. And you suddenly hear a giggle, you think, that means I'm about to die. <laughs> it's a very northerner giggle as well, isn't it? It's... Yeah. <laughs> It's like, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, um, so, number four, Romantic Necros. That's right. And if he had drawn, mm -hmm. he would have been down where Desiran is. Yeah. Because he won, he's above me, yeah. um, which is good Yeah. Uh, for him. So, yeah. Not so much for me, but very good for him. Snow dogs out so, of well fifth. played. Snow dogs out of the yeah. fifth. So that's, that's respectable. Yeah, because he's got the one draw more than me. In fact, he's drawn more than anybody, actually. He has. Uh, which gives him an interesting position because he's got the odd point, you see, mm -hmm. which can make a massive difference. Um, You've got a very, yeah. uh, a very straight-looking record, two, two, two. That's right. Same as DZ, two, two, two. Yeah. You're both, That's you're it. both wearing two twos. That's it. And the only reason I'm ahead of him mm. is because I've got ten more points. <laughs> that is literally the yes. only reason you're ahead of him. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be otherwise. I mean, I mean, really, yeah, it, yeah. I mean, I've played the long game, so to start with, I started off incredibly weakly, mm -hmm. but and my star player points came slow. In fact, this match with the bi week Knights is going to give me enough star player points to actually hopefully level some guys up, um, which would be just right for the finals. Indeed, might be quite useful by then. Might even buy myself a catcher, maybe. I might which I don't have yet. I've done the whole season without a catcher, so that my linemen and blitzers could level up. And I think it's worked off, worked out very, 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 very well. Yeah. Uh, perhaps yeah. it's time for that catcher. Uh, looking at the seventh, uh, seventh place, uh, the Sherwoodales still not last, thanks to the Byrick Knights. <laughs> well, that's right. Um, yeah, and for the first time, you've actually got more team value than I know. It's so. I feel like I feel normal. <laughs> that's right. And you've no longer got any zeros in your your win, draw, and loss columns. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Whereas yeah. one time you had two zeros. I mean, in it. literally, it's been filling up with the losses straight, and then it, I had the draw, and then I got the win. I'm hoping to actually get a proper win in this big yeah. match just to prove that my luck has improved <laughs> I, I would like to see you win yeah. I really would um, yeah. I, I, I mean I'm, I'm really hopeful I am very hopeful I, don't, but, I, don't, but, I do not believe I've got the curse of ones yeah so basically let's have a look here if DJ wins he stays top of the league yep. if Anima wins he goes top of the league if Red Tone wins he could go ahead of Anima if he loses, so he could go to second possibly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is if if DJ loses, it's possible for him to drop down to second or third. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's going to finish top three. Anima is going to finish top three as well. Yeah, Anima is um, definitely going to finish top three. Uh, DJ definitely. Um, if L Plate wins, he mm. will go up. If he wins and Red Tone loses, L Plate could go up to third place. He could. It's a possibility. I, I personally, I see Red being there. Personally. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. For myself, if I win, I can only move up if, uh, if Red if Tone be... and L Plate both lose. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are they playing each other? I can't remember. No, that. I'm playing L Plate, aren't I? Yeah. Oh yeah, so basically it's down to you because uh -huh. if you win yours, you still stay where you are. Yeah. Regardless of yeah. what anyone else Pretty does. Much, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> it's possible that there's three of us who will only have the same amount of wins as you. No, it isn't because I'll have three wins. So yeah, so but actually looking at it, now. <laughs> um, actually if Red Tone loses, yeah. it's potential uh, if Red Tone 
and our plate both lose. You could shoot up in the third place. I could go up to third place. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, that's quite we're, we're nearly out of time, so uh, do you two have any final comments, any smack talk that you want to bring to your opponents? Yeah, by week night, you're going down. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. I, so you see that? I line you up, you just smack them down. <laughs> I only have uh, one comment, and that's nothing to do with my mate. Okay. And if we have a third season, I would like to actually see Snowdog play a non-human team. Oh, you know what? Before we end this uh, this show here, let's uh, please uh, start voting for Snowdog not to be a human team. Start voting uh, now, well, and he will well, totally might... he will totally follow that. I know him. I might, I might consider being Norse or Bretonian. That, no, that's human. That's still human. Uh, no. no humans. Um, no humans. No, no human oh crap! <laughs> um, <laughs> you play humans this season. You play humans. Yeah. I mean, it depends if um, the expansion is out by the time the next one starts, which it yeah. may well be because it's out September. September. 5th. Is it fifth of September? Somewhere around. Somewhere around. Yeah, Somewhere which around. means by the time of the next season, that's probably out. Well, you will probably have to make sure that everyone who's playing in the league has it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh... Yeah, because it'd be interesting to play some of the other teams. Well, I'm, uh... I'm going to be playing the pro elves. <laughs> so, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, what I'd like to do is have a team of mixed humans. Um, yeah, no like... humans. <laughs> I want to do humans. I like humans. <laughs> and on I'm that note, I'm going to try and make sure that you play a non-human team. Oh. Because we want to see oh. if you've got the skills, what it takes. Oh, yeah. actually, oh, you, actually. Know you know what? You know what? Yeah. I've got it. Dad. Uh-huh. uh-huh. If we don't, if the new game doesn't come out, yeah, I will play a human team, uh-huh. but you can play either a Skaven or an elf team. Okay, let's have a look through. Humans, oh, I'm not allowed to. Okay, orcs. Oh, yeah, dude, I play orcs. You, Maybe. you could totally play orcs, actually, saying that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've got no agility players. No. Nah. Um, well, you've got the goblins. Level up the black orcs, and their speed's average. you got the gobos. But glitzers are four. very good. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good, actually. Uh, dwarfs. Nah. Yeah, a bit punchy for me. Skaven, fast, but they have to take too many risks. Yeah. High elves, nah. I can see you pulling off the high elves, actually. Yeah, well, actually, that's a thing. Yeah. Um, Because you did mm. actually say, if you're playing a punchy team while you're human, you usually play as elves. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That's true, yeah. Yeah, maybe, but they're high elves and they're poncy. Um, I know, they're so great, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, but you need a lot. Yeah, maybe. Dark elves. If I was going to play evil, they would be a good choice. They are a very good team if you really want to do a lot of fouling. Yeah, the witch elves or whatever they're called. But that is all the time we have. So uh, we'll be right back after the break to talk about the the Vortex at Ulfran. So stick around and we'll see you next time.